the time has come, the walrus said. All right, having defeated Engine, his lackey, uh, after we were supposed to give him the crystals, uh, Cortex is not pleased, to say the least. Uh, what is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. All right, yeah, he's not happy. Well, we got five more levels here in this space-themed world. Isn't this cool? Look at this place. I like the save screen here. It's this big window to outer space. Let's try this level piston it away. Not very subtle, huh? This is a kid's game, right? Can I say that? Well, of course, being the space world, we have space-themed levels. Piston it away here is not an easy level by any means. It's, of course, got pistons that can crush us. It's all futuristic-themed. Isn't that kind of neat? I guess in all this time, since we haven't seen Cortex for a year at this point, he's been building up his space army of sorts. I mean, he mentioned they don't have any ground forces on Earth. So I, I guess all the forces we were facing up to this point were Brios? And now these ones in space are Cortexes? I don't know. It was, in my mind, it doesn't matter. They're just all obstacles in a platformer, right? Beyond that, what does it really matter? These guys with the plugs at the bottom we gotta be careful for. We jump on them normally, but I believe they can switch around. Like these guys here, as you can see, we gotta slide. So I like that because we have the slide and the jump as two different methods for dealing with enemies, they kind of switch it back and forth and you gotta be ready to do either, right? It adds a bit more to the enemies in this versus just go forward and spin at them or in a few cases jump at them in Crash 1. You know, and that's not to say all the enemies in Crash 1 are boring per se. There was a lot of great enemies in Crash 1, but I, I think they'd really spice it up here. Maybe did the crystal, nice, and got a checkpoint. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Got a checkpoint right before we're getting hit by that slow-moving enemy. I think we hadn't died at this point. I swear to God, if there's a death route, and that's how I lost it. That, that'd be some shit. Oh my... I had a feeling. I kind of, kind of remembered that there was a death route in this level, and then so just seeing it there confirmed my fears. Well, the death route might not have any boxes on it, so we can still try for a box gem here, I suppose. I mean, Embryo told us to get all the gems instead of the crystals. But oddly enough, the level structure doesn't really change. Like, is Crash conflicted with all this? Is he still thinking about siding with Cortex here? We're still going around collecting the crystals, and the gems are still optional. It's like World 5 is just like any other world, even though we just attacked Cortex's lackey in between this and the last world. Oh shit, I totally forgot about those boxes. So much for the box gem here, I guess. Gotta be careful activating these platforms, because it shoots a laser towards us. Hey, get spun. Ow. Ow. Doesn't even hurt us, it just... Pushes us. What was that? Oh god! I totally just spun him there and it didn't work. There we go. Got those guys with the... <laughs> riot shields? Oh, that is a tease. But I got it, hey. The fact that you see all of Cortex's branding around this place is similar, similar to the kind of feel that they emanated at the end of... Oh. <laughs> at the end of the first game when you were reaching some of the later parts and there was more of Cortex's mark here around the whole place. Or in some cases, Pinstripe for some reason. You know, it's giving that feeling of finality that a lot of platformers really excel at when you get later on in the games and get more of that villainous presence. Because who doesn't love a good villain? And, and I'll admit, uh, even though it is very jarring how he went from having not Lex Luthor as the voice of Cortex to having THE Lex Luthor in my mind as the voice of Cortex, uh, it still works, I'd say. And man, we missed a lot of boxes. There must have been boxes on the death route, in which case I was not even close. So then is there no... Well, but there's still an extra gem. Maybe there's boxes and an extra gem on the death route? I don't know. It's been a while since I last did that one. I remember it taking a while, though. This level here is Rocket, and oh boy. Is this introducing what I think it is? I think so. Yep. We got a new stage gimmick. This here is the jetpack, which Crash immediately puts on as soon as the anti-gravity kicks in. And oh god, okay, so up and down are inverted, so down goes up, up goes down. The jump button goes forward, left and right are normal. Oh god, uh, the controls, the circle button goes backward. So, if we want to get this box, there you go, Crash, get those wump of fruit. It is, it is not pleasant. I get the idea is they want you to kind of speed through, but it just... It doesn't work for me. I, I I don't like it. You can get used to it, and I know I have in the past for trying to get box gems or whatever. I, I just ran into those enemies. I couldn't even tell they were enemies. But yeah, it's a last minute kind of addition. You know, there's a lot more gimmick levels with Crash, whereas in the first game it was really just 
pure crash gameplay and then a warthog stage which one of them was a secret level as well so really not a lot of warthog stages in this game we have the jet ski stages we have this jetpack stage and it's not the only one unfortunately there's a lot more playing around with crash in different settings and they would really hone in on that in Crash 3, which I don't know that I'll get around to this year because I have a lot of other things planned for this year, but I do want to get around to it at some point. And oh man, I can't actually spin those guys, huh? The music here is not bad. It's not my favorite either. I mean, it certainly does a good job of giving that space theme, you know, that futuristic theme. But I don't know, maybe it's just because I've associated it with these damn jetpack controls that I've never been a fan. Hey, that's a true factor though. You know, there, there can be great music tracks that if it's with a really difficult moment or a really annoying moment, it just doesn't sit well with you. Oh. Am I stuck? Hello? Oh god, oh god, okay. Uh, this way. Now up, which is down. And forward, which is X. This guy just zapped me and I gotta redo a ton of that. Fuck. Forget the boxes, just go. There was an extra life there, I would've liked that. Oh well. Okay, we hit him once, he's gonna zap. These guys are similar to some enemies from the first game towards the end. Watch out for those wires. Get the checkpoint. Watch out for these guys. Go while they're out. Oh fuck, I went right into him while I was zapping. Okay, let's try to get this extra life this time, how about? Oh. Uh. Sure. Fuck. <laughs> well, I got it. I feel like there are so many different ways they could have made the controls better, and I don't know what they are. But they're out there, I promise you. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, go, 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 go. Watch out for the wires. I gotta get the crystal up there for some reason, because I, I guess Cortex wants it, and we're still working with him, maybe? Fuck, I was trying to get the guy, but there's still a thing spinning around there. How far back am I? Okay, I'm not too far back, actually. Go, go, go. That was the perfect opportunity. He's gonna zap. Go, go, go. Alright, and it is... <laughs> hitting those guys into that actually clears out the force field, so you have to do it. But there we go. We made it through that stage. I missed a shit ton of boxes. Whatever. That's fine. Just get out of the jetpack stage. Unfortunately, I know there's another one. I should just do it now and get it out of the way. I don't like the jetpacks. I don't know if you can tell. But that's okay. We're, we're gonna do it anyway. Spaced out. Is it that one? Pack attack. It's probably pack attack, right? For jetpack. It's certainly not night fright. I know that one's a whole different level theme we haven't actually done yet. Uh, yep. Here we are. Alright, Crash. One more time. Let's pick up this jetpack. I'm not a fan, but look at him getting ready. He was like, alright. Stretch, get ready for this, we can do it. Wait for these to separate, we gotta go low as well. Go high. Avoid the cords! Uh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. This is, this is okay. No, bad timing! Oh, ho, 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 ho. He was like, just about to zap, I know it. Where's a checkpoint? I haven't picked up one yet. Oh, damn it! Have, oh, there was a checkpoint up there. Did I pick up a checkpoint along the way? Oh, I did. Okay. I, I must have forgotten. Oh, yeah. It was right before this guy who we dealt with. Nice. Okay. So there are, there are a lot of checkpoints in these stages because, you know, they kind of don't know what pace you're going to take it at. You can take these stages very slowly and precisely, especially if you're going for all the boxes because you kind of need to, in which case it's even more clunky because then it just sits in of how awkward these controls are. Aku Aku, my friend, uh, as much as I like to see you. You're not making this control scheme any easier, unfortunately. And oh man, two lasers? Really? Alright. Checkpoint here. Speed on ahead. Just go, Crash. Just go. Get more fruit here. Oh god, okay, we got a time with... God, I'm stuck. <laughs> we got a time with this guy. And with these spinning things. He's gonna zap. Go, 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 go. Alright, he's gonna zap one more time. Nice. Oh shit, that's a lot of nitro. Alright, make sure we get the crystal. It can be kind of easy to just scoot on past with this fucking jetpack controls. There we go, alright. Hey, the jetpack level isn't actually as bad, I'll say that. Because you can kind of just speed through. It might be more difficult getting all the boxes there. Uh, actually, we only missed five. Maybe not. Maybe pack attack's easier. That's okay with me. 